How are you doing, Tara? Doing all right. How are you? It's been raining here for about 70 years. Forever. It's been raining here, too, for about 70 years. Yeah. We we, we have rediscovered Lake Backyard. Mm, we have a swamp backyard. You have a swamp? Yeah. It's in a moist basement. Yeah. It has rained so much that the water came through, like, the porosity in the cinder block in our foundation. We can't Wait. even have a basement here because our water table is too high. Ha! <laughs> Ooh. Beat that! Like, he tried to find a leak and he couldn't find a leak. It's just that it's fucking rained so much that our foundation couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> you know what you need? Get you some flex tape. <clears throat> you painted it with some... It's called dry stuff. lock. Yeah. No, 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 because you gotta get the... Fl have you seen the commercial with the guy? He Where sells, they build a boat out of it? Yeah, I, I have. He cuts a boat in half. That's the shit you need. You need that flex tape shit. Dan watches Forensic Files all night, and that's the kind of commercials they show on Forensic Files, which is a little concerning to me, by the way. But, uh, so yeah, we've seen that one. We got a squirrel feeder, and the squirrels have not touched our bird food, and I'm so happy. We have a bird feeder, and the birds haven't touched the bird food. No, it's great now. Like, there's plenty of food, and all the birds come out and eat. And then the squirrels have their food. And, like, we have harmony. <laughs> You're feeding. I didn't want to fight the squirrels. My dad spent his whole adult life fighting squirrels, and he never won. You're feeding all the neighborhood vermin. Listen. <laughs> If I'm going to train them to tie ribbons in my hair and make breakfast, <laughs> we got to start somewhere. Also, I want to I'm going to be a real Disney princess. Also, I want to note, I was out running errands today, and I stopped in the uh, in the Target. Mm, uh, you had, like, light switch rave in the Target. What the fuck was this? The cheat. The cheat was at the Target. The cheat is grounded. What the? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, just I I look up as I walk in, and all the fucking lights are blinking and shit. You realize that was the hustle. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so now, now that we've completed the pleasantries, it's time to get into the less than pleasantry. Oh, Jesus Christ, this week. Um, I'm going to warn you, some of y'all might want to duck out before we get to the last story. And really? there's a picture in the last story that I'm not going to show on the air. It's that oh. bad. Oh. Fine. Wow. Is it like obscene or just No, it's unsettling and nasty. These people these people really, really, really wanted to see pictures of my leg hole. Keep in mind. Well like at least once a day I had to explain to somebody on Twitter that no, I am not gonna take a picture of the giant festering hole in my leg and post it because no. You're... This isn't rotten.com. You can go there. You're just you're dining out on that leg hole story. It's or... probably the only interesting thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> uh, let's get the intro running. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring you back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And... Oh boy. Let's let's start with with the least awful of what happens this week. Let's start with I don't know how this keeps happening. Yeah, this is definitely how this keeps happening. Why does this keep happening? Um Bears Again with the fucking bears and cars. The bears are rising. <laughs> Last week, we had a bear break into a woman's car and steal her cupcakes. I would have, too. This week, we have a bear broke into a woman's car and just fucked it up. <laughs> I would just take a second and look at those wow. pictures. Look at that dashboard. Yeah. 
That shit is destroyed. I don't, it's showing me totally something different. There we go. A woman in Canton, Connecticut saw lights of her car go off Friday night. Realized the culprit was not a burglar, but an adult bear. The amount of damage it did was astounding. Linda Murad said she was house-sitting for a friend who was on vacation when she saw the lights of her car go off. I had my phone on 911, and I came partially down toward the car. I heard noise, so I hit the send button. She did not see the culprit through the tinted of glass and told police what she heard. Officers showed up in minutes, and from inside the house, I saw them open the door and let the bear out. A full-sized that's, that's, bear. That's some badass cops. Yeah, you know what? If if I was a cop and I got called on this and there was a bear in the car, I would have been like, we're waiting this one out. The bear leaves Trolls, when the bear leaves. not my thing. I don't do bears. Like, that's, that's some public servants, man, because I would not be that person. I had a bad experience. Uh... She saw the damage, the dashboard, the leather seats, the trunk, and the hatchback were all torn to pieces. Oof. The bear had somehow gotten into the unlocked driver's side door of the vehicle, and the door closed behind him, and apparently he was frantic. Oh. So the bear apparently managed to work the handle and thought, well, what's inside here? And the door closed, and the bear was like, nope, fuck this shit. <laughs> Poor bear. Poor bear. He got scared. I wonder if insurance covers that. <laughs> we are far. Oh, fuck yourself. Nope. I just got my car back. It's lovely. They yeah. replaced the hood ornament that fell off in a completely unrelated incident. You know, you should probably stop saying that on the internet on a yes. recorded show. That was by far the least of the expenses. Yeah. On, like the little Honda H, they'd be like, you know what? That was fifty bucks. We'll just throw that in because they rebuilt the front third of my car, and they did a very good job. However, yeah. that wasn't caused by a bear. No, that wasn't caused by a bear. That was that. You know what? I have seen. I don't know if they cover bears. We have really good insurance, but I don't know if they cover bears. I have seen Loki get frustrated sometimes and scratch at the door, and he'll get a little frantic about it, but he has never got like, crazy. Well, and Loki is also accustomed to being in cars. Uh. He's a domesticated dog. Think about that poor bear, who has never in his life been in a confined space that small, and probably some type of alarm started going off. I just, I think he just forgot his driver's license and panicked. <laughs> Probably. Probably, you know, you know, you he leave. saw he saw a white lady calling the police and was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh we went there. We Topical. Went there. Topical. Uh well, hey, speaking of our divided racial nation. Peggy, you're snoring so loud. Um you've heard of the concept of stolen honor, correct? Yes. Yeah. Stolen that, valor. Stolen right? valor. That's it. That that's yeah. that's when a gentleman. Once a week, some um, asshole on Twitter accuses Dan of that. That's when a gentleman or lady hops online and claims to be a member of one of our service branches in the United States. Normally, they choose something like the Air Force, the Navy, the Marines. But some of them will straight up be like, "I was on SEAL Team Six and I shot Bin Laden." But yeah, the, normally my point there is normally they pick the ones that are reputable. That are have some reason to want to be to see it's seen as desirable to be yeah. a member of one of these elite corps. Cor does say corpse core. It's been a long day. It's been a long fucking day. But this guy decided, um, no, no, I'm going to pick an entirely different group to claim fake membership of. Fontana man sent to prison for posing as an immigration officer. Oh. Nobody likes them. <laughs> Last year, Matthew Johnson logged onto his Facebook account to vent. I'm going to be deleting a lot of people off Facebook. Just realize how many fake okay. people I have on here. Can I just point something out? Yeah. 
His ID says he's in the CTU counter-terrorist unit. Yeah. That's not a real thing. That's off 24. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that... not a thing. Yeah. In America. Yeah. The Kiefer Sutherland show. At the time, Johnson... You might as well say that you're part of control. At the time, Johnson may have been the biggest faker on his own Facebook page. A man posing as a U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement officer until his arrest in October. That's when federal agents served a search warrant at his Fontana home. Took him into custody on suspicion of impersonating an ICE agent and also discovered a cache of weapons and explosive devices. Investigators determined that Johnson had purchased a fake ice badge from a vendor in China and created a cr the credentials with the help of a friend. You put that CTU thing on was apparently a Kiefer fan. Yeah. Um, now, it all came to attention when he was he, his new girlfriend. He did this to impress a new girlfriend. How would that... What girl would that impress? I don't know. Um, She's wearing a red hat. Yeah. Like Tommy Laren? She was driving his car, and she'd accidentally turned on blue and red emergency lights on the vehicle's dash. Woman told the deputy she was trying to plug in her phone, didn't realize she'd activated the light. She told him the car belonged to Johnson, and he worked for Homeland Security. Again, that is not ICE. Yeah. So you're not a bright person. The deputy asked the woman to call him on the phone. Johnson identified himself as an ICE agent, said he had forgotten to take the lights off the dash. Johnson asked the deputy to have his girlfriend remove the lights. She did. It was allowed to go. The next day, the deputy uh, informed ICE of Johnson's uh, claiming to be an ICE employee, triggering an investigation after Johnson's name didn't come up as a federal employee. So... I love what the cop did here. The cop got all his name, uh, got all his information, got his name, just said like, okay, well, yeah, don't let it happen again. Yeah, get that fixed. And the guy at home is like, I got away with it. And the, meanwhile, the cop is like, yeah, let's run this fucker because something smells. <clears throat> just, see, the thing is, like, the cops check on the things you tell them. Yes. yes. Like, when I had my car accident, I realized I had the old insurance card in the car. I had a new insurance card, but the one I handed him was the old one that I never took out of the glove compartment. And he did call me on that shit. He was like, is your insurance current? And I was like, oh my, I gave you the wrong card. I'm so sorry. They check the they things you tell them. Things. Yes. When you hand them your ID, they run that shit. Yeah. Because if you're like an axe murderer or something and they pull you over for like a taillight... They want to know. Even better here, investigators say Johnson had taken a report from his girlfriend's friend who was having problems trying to remove a roommate from her apartment. Roommate was in the country illegally. In another instance, Johnson saw a hit and run and chased after the car with his red and light, red and blue lights on, causing the driver of that car to crash. So he's legit hurting people. Yup. Because he's, what does he actually do for a living? Don't know, but he had 32 firearms, shotguns, rifles, pistols, and revolvers, 10,000 rounds of ammunition, two rocket launchers, and explosive materials and devices. Wow. Oh, and investigators also learned Johnson had sold an AR-15 to a man for $700. Of course he did. Why? Now, there's a second picture that says he's in on the gang task, task force. Yeah, he's he got more than one of these shitty IDs. He's got multiple shitty IDs. Yeah, there's, there's another one there. He put that on his fucking Instagram. Idiot. I why ice? Of all the <laughs> fucking options. I mean, why don't you just tell her you're a 
Grand Wizard and the KKK. Yeah, I know, right? It's, it seems that's, a... They're less likely to call you on that shit because nobody's been like, I ain't seen you at no meetings. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a lie you're going to get away with. <laughs> Ah, uh, this motherfucker. Well, I especially lies very carefully, people. I especially love that he jumped into his fucking car after a hit and run, which isn't even the purview of the uh, of the the yes, department he's impersonating. That's not what ICE fucking does. No, they don't give a fuck about your hit and run. That, that's not their jurisdiction. They can't do shit about it legally. No. They can't do fuck. I mean, if you get in a crash, like with a cartel Cadillac on the border, then they might be able to get involved. Uh, That's about it. We have a story from from Georgia. No, South Carolina makes that makes me sad. South Carolina next. West Ashley. Oh, this is Charleston, South Carolina. Makes me even sadder. Um. There hits a weird point in a language when we stop associating a word with its actual meaning and more mm -hmm. closely associate it with its slang meaning. Yeah. Literally now means <clears throat> figuratively. <laughs> this is a little bit different than that. And it's, I'm like, oh, 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 you weren't familiar with this phrase. I wonder why not. Publix wouldn't write summa cum laude on a graduation cake due to profanity. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, they wrote dash, dash, dash. Dash, dash, dash. Instead of summa cum laude. Yeah. Oh, honey. Yeah. Signs of a graduation party are still left around the house of the Kosinski family. Jacob graduated graduated Saturday with the highest honors from a Christian based homeschooling program. So his Isn't mom. Isn't summa cum came. laude the second highest? Isn't magna cum laude above that? No. No. Is that, that backwards? Yeah. Oh. Well, all right then. He did not know we were getting a cake because he's not a big cake eater. So we were all standing there waiting to see it. When we opened it, it's a huge shock to all of us. When she requested the bakery include Jacob's honor, she was alerted that profane or special characters weren't allowed. Uh, Carla, Cara, Cara clarified her request with special instructions. The website had censored me. And this is a website you can refer to for the Latin term for summa cum laude, which means highest honors. No, how... I mean, that's kind of hilarious. I don't think I'd really be mad about it. I'm kind of disappointed about it. It's sad, yes. But I think I'd be amused. I'd be like, that's my piece. I want the dash, dash, dash piece. <laughs> it's like, you never got there, did you? <laughs> that's why you don't know what it... You you did you had no idea this was even a thing, did you? I graduated one of the cum laude's, but I don't remember which one now. I I just it, mm. that, yeah, that's 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 sad, but also kind of adorable. <laughs> like I can't be mad at this because boy, that's a bad word. Oh, no, that's 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 a not nice word. You can't put that on there. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I, I mean, you just graduated college and your cake comes back like that. You got to laugh. I think it's funny that apparently he doesn't like cake, but his family got him a cake anyway. <laughs> like, who's that cake really for you guys? Yeah, it's true. I don't think it's for Jacob. I don't think it's for Jacob. It's just, it. come on, man. I, I, I don't, I am not an incredibly smart person. I'll be the first to fucking admit this. And yet, I really don't want to be the smartest guy in the room. Come on, that's scary. 
That's fucking scary. That when when you re I know my own level of ability, and I don't want to be at the peak of what what's available in the area. This is something they could have pretty easily Googled. Yes. Like even if the store computer, most most retail stores, their computer won't let you access the internet because they don't fucking trust you. But I guarantee you, every person working at that Publix has a smartphone. And, and anybody could have just Googled this and been like, oh, what do you know? That's the thing. How, you know, what does summer come loud mean? <laughs> that ain't right, is it? I ain't no major I ever heard of. I would have gone to college, shoot. That that's one of them nasty things. They, they they try to trick me. Yeah. And I can use that. I can use that because I was born and raised here, and this story is from here, and I am highly disappointed. Yeah, technically I was just racist at your people, but <laughs> why don't have fun? I, I do it to Dan all the time because he's yeah. a hillbilly from Missouri. Uh now this next one, oh Jesus fucking Christ. I feel like we should change the name of the show to that because I feel Jesus like you say that a lot. I, I'm uh, Jesus fucking Christ with Nash and Tara. This is from Pittsburgh. And um you know uh, when you get into a, when you get into a certain line of work, there are some expectations of what the work will entail. And some of which can be, you know, highly rewarding and things you, you shoot to have as part of your experience doing a job. However, you shouldn't try. Don't stop. Stop trying to make this happen. You shouldn't that teenage volunteer firefighter charged with setting duplex fire in Brackenridge. No. Teenage volunteer firefighter has been charged with arson in connection to a duplex fire. According to the criminal complaint, Patrick Gillis, 18, was arrested after police say he confessed to setting the fire, telling authorities he, quote, just wanted to respond to a fire. Come on, dude. Uh, according to the complaint, which is told officers they saw Mr. Gillis in the area before the fire started. And then saw Mr. Gillis later return as one of the firefighters. It was a vacant duplex, I should say, so no one was hurt. Thank God, but they fucking could have been. You're not a hero if you cause the problem. <laughs> That's why Tony Stark's an asshole. Because <laughs> you don't get the cookie for defeating Ultron when you fucking built Ultron. You don't. You don't. You don't. Why are you looking at me? Because you fucking love Tony Stark. I don't. You do. No, I don't. <laughs> I, I, it. I love that he was so he people actually saw him in the area. Yeah. And he didn't think it would occur to them when he came back later with the fire department. Yeah, you that, got a you got a hoodie or something, man. Something. Get like pantyhose, son, you got a panty on your head. But at least they can't see who you are. Man, when my dad when I when my my dad was a young captain in the fire department, like we used to live across the street from the firehouse. And this until I was like one. So I don't remember this, but I was told this story. A bunch of the guys like were drinking and and playing with the fire extinguishers out in the back of the firehouse. And my dad got out of bed in the middle of the night and and ran across the street in his boxers and like yelled at them in an Irish brogue and they scattered like ants. Oh, it, and that was just for shooting foam at each other. If this had been your dad's department, he would have gotten his ass out of his grave to come and smack someone in the yeah, head. She probably would. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy probably is in deep shit because firemen take that shit serious. Oh, God, yes. Their lives. Yes. You actually like, 
you set they, a fire. Volunteer firemen, it's not even their job. It's their life voluntarily. Yeah, so my I, dad was a volunteer fireman. He didn't get paid for that shit. And you set it up so that they would have to run into a burning building to put it out. Well so done. Even if nobody was in that building, Somebody they gotta did. check it. But we're not we're not done with fire though. Oh god, these assholes. The this, if you think this guy is a big asshole, just wait. Even bigger assholes. It's just it's I like think I started a fight over Tony Stark in the chat. It's it, it, we we have like a matrushka of assholes tonight. Just one st stacked inside the other. I I'm picturing I'm, that, and I don't like it. I think I'm saying that wrong, but I don't care. Like I said, not the smartest guy. I can prove I think it. It's Matryoshka. Matryoshka. You're close. I can prove it. I'm not the smartest guy. I have proof. <laughs> I have the receipts. Oh, Magaluf Hotel fire. Brit tourist accused of starting fire when quote. Trying to prank sleeping pal by setting feet on fire with aerosol. That's not a prank. That's arson. <laughs> Four Brits accused of starting a hotel blaze in a prank, not a prank, that caused around 125,000 pounds of damage. A picture for the first time walking to court today. Two women named locally Georgia James and Lauren Smith, both 19, were handcuffed together as police led them into a hearing. They were followed by 21-year-old 21 21-year-old 21 James Brown and Brandon uh, McCahill, also accused of sparking the fire oh, by a legend. Oh, this douchebag. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a cavalcade of dickheads. Um... <laughs> By allegedly burning a sleeping pal's feet using a lighter and an aerosol can. Firefighters had to rescue seven tourists trapped on balconies after the blaze broke out. No one died, amazingly. But I love I love his look at the t-shirt. Dope drugs. That's that's a that yeah. I'm missing the funny part. Yeah. It's funny because your feet are on fire. Like, when I lived at my sister's house, my nephew used to leave his rubber snakes in the fridge at bedtime so that in the morning when my sister got up to make his breakfast, she would find a rubber snake and scream. And that was funny. That was a prank. Well, I bet your sister probably hated the shit out of that. She didn't think it was super funny. <laughs> it was. However, her feet were not on fire. No part of her was on fire. No part of her person was set ablaze. That's that's not. I don't see how that's party. <laughs> you burn. Not, like imagine explaining that to your friend who has like third degree burns on their feet. No, see, it's funny because you were sleeping and we set your feet on fire. That's not your friend. That's. I'm still missing where that's funny. That's that is not the kind of person you should trust to be asleep around. Fuck no. That's not the kind of person you should be awake around, quite frankly. Yeah, like, that's true. Just, you should just disassociate from those people. I is friends don't set friends it on fire when you sleep. Friends don't set friends on fire, period. That's oh, not in the list of things friends do. That is oh, actually in the list of things not friends do. Like, because I'm the worst wife, sometimes when Dan's asleep, like, you know, you stick that one foot out from under the covers because that's, like, just warm enough, you know? It's too hot with both feet under, but it's too cold if you take the covers off, so you stick that one foot out. And I go in and I tickle that foot because I'm terrible. You are terrible. It's true. You knew who you married. <laughs> what I don't do is set that foot on fire. Because see, I'm pretty sure that's called assault. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not that's not a prank. That's assault. I mean, I don't know what it's called in Mallorca, but here that would be aggravated assault and also arson. And and 125 thousand pounds of damage. That's impressive. Burned down two hotel rooms. They made a flamethrower. Yep. Out of hairspray. 
Hooray! Which they're lucky that didn't explode in their hand. Like, if you're going to do this dickish thing, why would you not just hold the lighter up to your friend's feet? That's going to be enough, I promise you. Yeah. Unless your friend is a fucking hobbit, that's going to be enough. You don't need a goddamn flamethrower. All right, so I... have uh, Here comes the last one. Come here. We need a comfort kitty. You're not going to see all the photos of this one. Just I know, me he's going to make them upset, so... And Dottie won't come because Dottie hates us. You're just going to see the x-rays, okay? That's all you're going to see from this one, kids. There's worse that we're going to have to look at. And I'm sure if you are technically minded enough, you could find these yourself. We're not going to show them to you. Um, everyone clench. I love you. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Go back in your box. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Man has six inch handheld shower head removed from his bum after, oh. quote, accidentally slipping in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Man sure. has had a six inch sure. handheld shower head removed from his bum after he, quote, accidentally slipped in the bathroom. The 26 year old from India had to detach the PVC pipe connecting the shower head to the wall to get to the hospital. Upon missing, <gasps> and upon, oh, so yeah, that's the one we're not going to show them. Upon oh, admission to Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital, I probably said that wrong, I apologize, Post and Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research in New Delhi, the man denied he had put the shower head there himself. I mean, yeah, you did. His vitals were stable. <laughs> there was no evidence of blood in his rectum. Scans revealed the shower head was six inches deep into the man's pelvis. That's, I want I wanted to, to stress this. That's not six inches deep into his rectum. That's into his pelvic region. Oh, oh, yeah, that's higher, isn't it? That is, in fact, because, yeah, that, that's, that, that's a little bit. Can you take me higher? So you, he had some like the hose in there. Yes, he did. <clears throat> you didn't fall on that, man. No, no. Because the like, shower head's all the way up there, and your well, I mean, butt's it's all the way. Up. Like I've left it before while I grab shampoo or something, you know, but. Unless, like, Loki, you, it's reference night, apparently. You were falling for 30 minutes. <laughs> to build up that kind of velocity. Well, even, okay, even when my... You cannot, while standing in a shower, fall hard enough to do this. Even when my shower head is detached and dangles down, it's still dangling. It doesn't even reach the bottom of the tub. It's just True. hanging there. And like, was it, it was spout up. So that's impossible. Yeah. What was, were you standing on your hands? Yeah. Like, were you, you upside down in the shower? You didn't, you didn't fall on it, bro. You and that's fine. Like, that's cool. You know what? Whatever blows your hair back, man. It's right. fine. Just use the proper tool for the job. That's a great tool for spraying water up your ass. If that's your thing. Yeah. It should stay outside of your purse. Yes. And you should just buy, I mean, I would say a butt plug, but really we're talking a specialty dildo at this point. You can order them online. You don't even have to nope, walk into a shop. You don't have to shop. talk to anybody. You know, we, have, we are not judging you for putting shit up your ass. No. That's a thing. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Life is short. You've got one ass. Enjoy it. Just use the proper tool for the job. Right. Safely put things up your ass. That's, that's all we that's, have. That's, that's all we have. <laughs> if you don't want people to know you're putting things up your ass, that's what the internet is for. Don't you know? put things up your ass that don't belong there. No. We have we have we are in the 21st century, my friend. We have purpose-designed 
items. You can 3D print yourself a dildo if you want. You can buy a thing to go up your ass that's shaped like the baby Jesus. Yes! You can buy a thing to go up your ass that's shaped like the penis of a mythical creature that doesn't even exist. It is an age of miracle and wonder. You can buy a thing to go up your ass that's sparkly so you think you can pretend it's Edward from Twilight. Why the shower head? Why but the shower head doesn't belong there? I I don't want to show you the picture, but and like, I hope you really, really keep your shower clean because mildew and soap scum. Ugh. Your internal organs ain't gonna like that. I, I I don't want to show you the picture, but it's the the, the head of the shower head. It's kind of where they make the plastic like a cog. Yeah. You know, with a lot of little, like a gear with teeth in it. It looks like there's an asterisk on the x-ray. Well, that that's that's them putting, that's them, it, it, that's not the actual shower head. That's oh, the, I thought that was like the dial. No, they, they put the asterisk there to indicate this is where it is. Okay. They added the asterisk. Okay. Yeah, there's a further down picture. I'm not going to show you the worst one, but here's a further down picture. You can see the asterisk. Yeah, that picture label nice B. Show, they, they do include a picture of the blood-covered shower head. Oh, uh, I'm not showing you guys that because it is way too nasty. It's pretty gross. But yeah, it's got like sharp edges with like where you're supposed to grip and detach stuff. Yeah. That doesn't go in your butt. No. Uh, it doesn't. It? No. It doesn't belong there. Round things. Round I think that that's the first thing we learned this week. There are a plethora, a myriad, a so whole, many, a menagerie of things a that are intended to cornucopia to, to go in your butt. There, there is a universe waiting to go up your butt. Yep, <laughs> designed for that purpose. That's all those little. things objects are ever going to do it's all they want out of life to go up your butt and not perforate it and don't put things up your butt that don't belong there they don't want to go up your your shower head is does not design just and now you've got a broken shower do you remember <laughs> do you remember beauty and the beast with be our guest I don't be remember it. this part. Be our guest. Be a... None of those things wanted to go up your butt. They wanted to do their jobs. Okay? Poor Lumiere. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if there had been a dildo in the dance number, it would have had a different little, <laughs> little song. But I none mean, of... It, you know, there might be, if you look carefully enough. None There's of them... on the Little Mermaid video cover. None of the random objects in your house want to go up your butt. Don't That's do probably it. Probably Chip has that little chip out of his head. We've learned that there are many nice ways to prank your friends, like rubber snakes in the ice box. None of them involve fire. None of them. None of them is well. Some of them, you know, you mm. might want to light a candle, but not light people's feet. Feet are like, not candles. I don't really feel like that thing where you put your friend's hand in warm water so they pee is a dickish thing. True. Yes. Like the handful of shower cream and the tick or the shaving cream and the tickled nose. I even feel like that's dickish because yeah. I have bangs and that's going to fuck up my bangs. Like. We've learned if you want to be a firefighter, you got to have be patient. You will get a fire to fight eventually. You can't just make it happen. You're, this is not like the secret. You can't just go out and get it. Different kind of thing, man. And you're not the kind of firefighter from Fahrenheit 451. No, that's... Maybe you read that book and got confused. That's not reality. We've learned that um, we're, we're forgetting Latin at an astounding rate. Yeah. <sighs> Hilarious, right, too. Um, we've learned that if you pretend to be a government officer and undertake tasks that a government official might undertake, sooner or later, somebody's going to go, wait a second. Yeah. Especially when you are bad at those tasks. Yeah. That doesn't help. And don't pick the agency everybody fucking hates. I know, right? Because that's going to make people want to bust your ass worse. 
Seriously. We already don't want ice in this country. You, you don't want to like be like, hey, it's that like motherfucker. Pretending to be a cop and pretending to be internal affairs. Yeah. You're nobody's friend. <laughs> and finally this week we've learned bears can open and get inside of your car and then don't like it. Bears are very indecisive creatures. The bears are rising. To how many? This is like the third bear in a car story we've had in like the past year, I think. The bears are coming for your cars. <laughs> Fluttered on her to the channel. Goose told bear, don't fuck up the car. Bear fucked up the car. Are bears in your car? Learn the warning signs. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, is there a bear in your car? <laughs> uh, if there's a bear in your car, there might be a bear in your car. 